Take a look out, though. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about pickle boar? Yeah, pickle boar. That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. Again, this is just a... Okay, so I guess this... Uh... Again, I'm not sure I'm gonna be... Skipping the one... Oh, yes. This is how I do it. Right, here goes! Arthur's second maxim. Know your foes and strike where they're weak. Should be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. Okay. 
they kind of had to spread down. This place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. I'm sorry about that. But how did he become bigger? Because he's not the uh, not, uh... Okay, I guess we have to go back. Very slow. Wait, the boars I hunted, are you there? <laughs> Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. Double. What do we find? An exorcist art! Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. Oh. Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine.
I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? So can I? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. Again, I got. I don't promise that I'm gonna see all the skits or something like that because. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, a tiny icon to say, oh yeah, this is a skit before you exit the area. There goes. Nico, here for groceries? Yep, and <laughs> you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You want to do something about your style, then? Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a, a new one! Oh. Uh. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Laffy Set. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Oh boy. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh, of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people 
you'll think. The important okay, oh, thing is my Zulita. feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Okay, so. Oh. Luffy must be starving by now. I better hurry home. Ah, uh, yeah, speaking of that. We're gonna end this episode here. Hope you enjoyed this, guys, and see you in the next one.